and the next question is on police, fire, and employees' pensions. Should there be a top limit of 100000 or 110000 For new, new employees, the state has mandated um, a cap. Uh, what that cap should be, it's going to apply to uh, charter cities, and we have to impose it by a certain date. I believe it's 2018. Um, it's questionably legal if you apply that cap to current employees and you would open your city up to huge lawsuits. Um, but I want to say that our employees have provided huge savings for us. They agreed to give up their cost of living increases. They re agreed to reductions in staffing and to pay reductions of 4.6% and 2.3% in the last contracts. More importantly, they agreed through negotiations to pay half the cost of the increases to their health benefits, which was rising in double digits. Uh, these sacrifices saved the city millions of dollars these last few years. And every time we've asked the city employees to help, they have responded. On a personal note, I believe I'm the first employee that was ever eligible for a city pension to refuse it. And I actually had to sign waivers to refuse my pension. I respect the hard work and dedication of the police, fire department, and our city employees. And for current employees, my opinion is lowering their pension would be a demoralization on their part. So I will support for a leader and sustainable pension benefits. Thank you.